What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 video, and today we'll be towing and repoing trucks around the town. So let's hop in the Chevy Silverado and let's head over to the tow shop. And this is our supervisor truck, and a lot of you guys were very excited that I did get this truck. So we'll be driving over there with this awesome truck, and we'll be using the Ford F550 rollback in the Chevy Duramax record today to repo one truck and two tow two vehicles one is a uh, illegally parked truck and then one is also a wrecked car so we have a variety of jobs that we need to do today so i think we'll pull this inside the shop we won't kind of leave it out back and i think we'll also back this truck in so it, it's a lot easier to kind of leave when we do go home for the day and a lot of you guys are liking that I do drive to the shops and everything like that so I thought we would do that for the towing shop so we'll kind of back in here and I think that we might move that car lift a little bit further back that way we don't really have to kind of back the truck over half the lift so we'll now walk over here and it looks like it's kind of challenging to kind of walk over here because of some collisions but we'll open up this garage door and we are using the Ford F550 and we are going to go after the first repo of the day and the only repo with this and then we'll be also picking up the wrecked car with this so the first repo is a Ford Raptor it's a 13 year model it's a very expensive off-road vehicle and we have to go pick it up because there's still a loan that has not been paid off so we'll definitely head out now and hopefully we do not run into the owners because that's definitely making it more challenging than to just kind of go there pick it up and we do have the key to it just in case we don't really want to kind of damage anything on it like I was saying it is an expensive truck but I'm very excited that we got this Ford F550 it is a little bit stronger than the F350 we did have and it's a extended cab so it's definitely a lot shorter of a total a tow truck if you would say so we'll definitely turn over here hopefully we do not like I said run into any problems with really anything today I would like this to be a pretty cool smooth day of towing and simple and easy but look at this guys we do have an interior view without the detailed I do apologize for that but here it is you guys can see it in the distance we have a Ford Raptor so it will definitely block this and that way nobody can kind of drive off with it but it looks like there is really good uh, condition of this truck but it looks like there's one modification which is a beacon light but this thing looks nice and before we kind of uh, tow it we do need to make sure it is a correct bin and it is awesome so we'll definitely turn our lights on since we are going to kind of be blocking the roadway for just a little and uh, we'll definitely kind of back up here and get this up on the rollback so we'll kind of keep turning around here definitely not too much room we have to kind of move around with but we'll lower the tow bar and we'll slide this all the way back now this is awesome how we have a really cool tow truck like this in this game so I think that's going to be good right there so we'll definitely kind of drive this up on since we do have the key and hopefully everything goes well with the locking script because I did run into a few problems before but we turn the truck off we'll definitely lock it awesome we got it loaded up so we'll make our way back to the shop now and this thing looks very nice on the back of this tow truck and it's actually a very expensive truck like I was saying so hopefully the owners do pay off their loan and then they will be able to get this back so I think we'll put this in the back of the repo lot and then we'll go after that a total car that we do kind of have to tow back and it looks like there's a little bit of problems kind of using this rollback feature with the locking strip but overall, this is one nice looking setup that we are running today. So like I was saying, if you do have any cool cars or trucks you guys would like me to tow, let me know down below in the comments. But we'll kind of tow this all the way back here. And I think we'll kind of back in the shop area. That way it's a little bit easier for us. So we'll kind of turn here. And we are definitely blocking the roadway. But we kind of have to do this since it would make it a lot easier for us to kind of get into the shop. But we'll definitely raise that up. Awesome feature we have there. And I really do like that overall. And we'll definitely back this in. Definitely a lot easier like I was saying. Just back it all the way into this corner here. And we will roll this off. And I think that's probably good right there. We'll roll it off. And we will also block this vehicle in. Which I think will also add a layer of security 
if you would say. And it looks like, not really sure exactly what happened to the camera view. But we got this backed up in here. We'll turn the lights off and let's go after the uh, last vehicle that we are going to be getting with this. And it is a totaled Audi. Yes, it is an Audi. And it is at a local gas station. They kind of drove it there very slowly because uh, they couldn't really drive it and we were too busy. So now we are going to be going after it and uh awesome so we'll definitely uh use this truck for many more videos but take a look at that guys this thing looks really nice and i would like to thank you all for the continued support on all of the videos over the last few weeks it's been a lot of fun and you guys are really liking them so the gas station is just down here to the uh corner over here where there is a little turn and i believe that it's drivable but not really road uh worthy or even really safe to drive but it does kind of work so look at that guys we are here that is one damaged uh car it looks like the whole door is smashed in that is very interesting how we kind of go after some uh toes and uh, we kind of help these people out now so we'll definitely lower the tow bar down to give us more clearance and we'll roll this back take a look at that guys hopefully we kind of get this up onto the truck without really damaging our bed take a look the whole door is smashed in broken windshield and the whole front bumper is off it looks like the wheels are kind of in a uh, good condition but it looks like the whole back bumper is off so this is definitely needing repair so i think that we could probably repair this but we'll kind of back this up like i was saying we do have the key and everything to this but we'll kind of lock this down and slide this up awesome we got this up on the flatbed here and I'm having a little bit of trouble with the locking script it almost wants to kind of make me go flying if you would say so I'm not sure exactly what is up with that but take a look at this guys we have a wrecked car on the back of this tow truck which is actually pretty cool to kind of see on the back and I do apologize for the cars kind of glitching a little but we are almost back to the shop just one more little street that we kind of have to go down and then we are going to go after the last tow of the day which is for a illegally parked truck so the shop is just right there and i think for this one we won't really back it in we'll just drive in the back that way it's a lot easier for us to kind of fit through the door of the garage door so we'll just kind of continue and I definitely need to really open up this gate so we might need to kind of find a way for this gate to be uh, able to open without having to kind of get out of the truck and stuff like that. So we'll kind of pull through here very narrow. And I think we'll just kind of put this wrecked car kind of in the corner over here. We won't put it in front of that Raptor just in case we need to get to that and this one won't work. So we'll definitely lower the tow bar and uh, definitely lower this down. Pull back. Awesome. So we'll definitely... Uh, take the locking script off and I think we'll just put this in neutral let it kind of slide down kind of slid down and take a look the whole suspension really does need to be fixed on that but we'll turn the beacon lights off and we are now going to be driving this back in the garage now this is actually in the garage which is the probably the coolest one we might need to change them all to this but it's just you kind of drive through garage very easy and pretty efficient for kind of getting stuff in without having to kind of back up and stuff so we'll definitely close that we'll open up this door and let's go for the last tow with the duramax the chevy and we are actually going to tow a brand new toyota tundra the owner decided to definitely kind of take up six parking spots yes he took up six parking spots so that nobody would scratch his brand new truck and the owners of the lot are really uh, mad so we have to go kind of tow it remove it off the property so that they could definitely get back those six parking spots and take a look at this inside guys this is one pretty cool interior I will be looking into seeing if I can make this a little bit more detailed and stuff like that but definitely very excited to kind of have this really nice uh, Duramax wrecker over here and we will actually be building some pretty cool tow trucks within the next few days so stay tuned for those and definitely I'm very excited for the cool videos this week and uh, there is a live stream this Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time we'll definitely be doing a lot of cool things like that but we are just around the corner probably almost uh, less than a minute out but it looks like my game is starting to kind of lag 
definitely have to look into that, but this truck looks really nice, especially since we kind of did not black it out. And I think that we won't really be blacking out any more tow trucks, and we'll just kind of leave them kind of with stock wheels and rims on and stuff like that. But definitely having these with a single cab makes it for a pretty small truck, which is actually awesome. But take a look at that, guys. We are pulling into the mall, and look at that Tundra taking up six spots. That's a lot of parking spots. So we are here now to kind of tow it out of the way. And it looks like we are doing that by dropping the arm right now to the wrecker. Definitely really need to learn these controls. We'll turn our lights on and hopefully the owner will kind of come out. That way they just give us a little bit of money instead of towing it. But I think it looks like we have to tow it. We'll back up and we'll attach it. Awesome. And it looks like this vehicle is kind of giving us a little bit of trouble trying to tow and stuff like that so I think we'll kind of just kind of back up and let's see if we could kind of drive it looks like there was actually a collision right there not sure exactly what that was but take a look at that awesome so we got it now I just actually had to raise it up just a little but take a look at that suspension guys the whole back of this truck is kind of down so we might need to upgrade the suspension to this wrecker and stuff like that. But we are now making our way back. And yeah, you guys can definitely see now when we get up to speed that this truck is just under a little bit of pressure. So I think we need to get a larger tow truck to kind of tow these larger uh, pickup trucks like the Tundra and the Super Duties and the Diesels, I mean. So we definitely will have to look into that. But we'll definitely make our way back to the shop now where we will be calling it a day but we just kind of have to take it slow and uh, not really rush over there just because we don't want to damage this tow truck or the truck overall though I think that this tow truck is still doing a great job we do have all our lights on take a look guys we have lights on the grill the tow mirrors and that light bar this is one awesome looking truck so I think we'll definitely look maybe build a GMC truck but if you do have any cool ideas for any type of tow truck let me know down below in the comments and I'll gladly take a look but I think we are definitely coming over here and I think we'll definitely pull and uh, definitely take a left over here just very scared that we are going to like lose our steering because uh, I mean it's pretty uh lifted in the front if you would say so I think we'll kind of continue and I think we'll just kind of drop this we won't really kind of back it in too much and definitely backing in a vehicle I haven't really tried yet it probably is similar to just towing a regular vehicle but we'll pull in here it looks like the wheel just kind of slid and not really even turned so that's a little scary but we got the door open we'll kind of pull back here and we'll call it a day so hope you guys enjoyed today's towing video and repoing video let me know your feedback down below thanks for watching and subscribe for more